Holy cow, what are those things? This is how to read an element on the periodic table of elements in plain English. Elements on the periodic table of elements are made of three parts. The atomic number, the atomic weight, and the element symbol. First, we'll talk about element symbols. An element symbol is used to abbreviate an element rather than writing out its full name. They are made up of either one capital letter, like a capital C for carbon, or one capital and one lowercase letter, like LI for lithium. These symbols mostly make sense. A C for carbon, LI for lithium, CL for chlorine, O for oxygen. But others are harder to understand. AU for gold, NA for sodium, FE for iron, and K for potassium. These pretty much just have to be memorized. The atomic number is the amount of protons in an atom of the element. Because the atomic number of carbon is 6, there must be 6 protons in a carbon atom. Protons are positively charged particles. By definition, atoms have no overall electrical charge. This means there must be an equal amount of positively and negatively charged particles. Therefore, there must be 6 electrons to balance out the atom. Electrons are negatively charged particles. The atomic weight is basically a measurement of the total number of particles in an atom's nucleus. An atom's nucleus is made up of protons and neutrons. In order to find the number of neutrons in an atom, you first need to round the atomic weight to the nearest whole number. In the case of carbon, that would be 12. This number is called the mass number. Because we know the nucleus is made up of only protons and neutrons, we can subtract the number of protons from the mass number to find the number of neutrons. Remember, the amount of protons is given by the atomic number. In this case, we would subtract 6. Therefore, 12 minus 6 gives us 6 neutrons in the nucleus. Neutrons have no charge. And there you have it. That's how to read an element on the periodic table of elements in plain English.